the Live Enhancement, Enhancement Suite. Suite was released right at the end of 2018, and the response has been great. It's awesome to see how LES has transformed your workflow. For those who don't know, LES is a program that runs alongside Ableton Live and allows you to do more stuff and boost your workflow so you can focus more on making music. It doesn't change any Ableton profiles, but does what you'd normally be able to do, just at superhuman speeds in a more convenient way. Here's what these artists had to say about LES. This is life-changing. LES is amazing. The enhancement suite is seriously speeding up my workflow. Thank you for contributing. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, you can include me in the video. Awesome, man. LED wrecking. Well, we get it noted. Just is so cheap. I love what you do with your hands. Excited to use this. Amazing. This is so cool. Thank you so much, you. We need this. <laughs> After the initial release, we implemented many things into LES you guys requested, such as increasing the number of menu items from 200 to 2000 and much more. But there was one request we couldn't fulfill until now. LES for Mac. Plus, with this 1.2 update comes a suite of extra features that weren't in before, so window users get something extra too. So stick around for those even if you don't have a Mac. I'm gonna need a big round of applause from all you guys. First one goes to Direct for kickstarting the Mac conversion project and programming the LES Mac menu. And second goes to Inverted Silence. He learned to code in Lua in about a week and made everything else. LES wouldn't exist without him. Additionally, thanks to Ashley James for creating the code for the documentation website and the installer. Plus a huge thanks to everybody who helped beta test this this time around, making sure everything worked perfectly. Oh yeah, LES has a manual now, so if you weren't sure where all the features were last time around, there's a proper place to check them now. Now let's run through the Mac installation process together. Afterwards, we'll talk about the features, including the new ones. Download LES from the website. Run the DMG and the installer will open up. Now because we're quote unquote, Identified developers. you might need to go to your security settings and open it from there, but afterwards it will just run very smoothly. Once you run the installer, the live enhancement suite will be in your applications, and so you can run that. Because LES sends keystrokes to Ableton, you'll have to do this. Mojave users will get a pop-up asking to allow a system events, so click OK. All users, Mojave or not, will have to go to your security settings, the privacy tab, and then down to accessibility and enable LES there. You'll see it grayed out, so just tick the box. It will also ask you if you want to start LES on startup, which is advisable but you can always change this later if you don't. If you're coming from an older version on PC, then updating is really simple. Just delete the old exe in the folder and put in the new one. When you run it, you'll get a pop-up that says if you want to replace the settings file, so say yes. With LES running, you will see the LES logo on the top menu bar. You'll be able to go into Ableton Live and use the features now. The main one being the double right-click menu. With this open, you'll see a menu with plugins that you'll be able to choose and add to the track that you have selected. This is the default menu, but you can customize that to add your own plugins that probably aren't in the list already. Click on the LES logo and select Configure Menu. Here you'll see a text file that works identically to the Windows version. It's exactly the same as the Windows version. If you haven't seen How to Ableton, there's a lot of information there on how to make custom menus, plus lots of other general Ableton advice. However, since then, we did add the ability to add not just sub sub menus, but sub 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 menus sub sub menus. To make a regular sub menu, you just need to use the forward slash. Then you add plugins with two lines, and then to make sub sub menus, you add an extra forward slash. Important note: you can't have a sub menu on its own, so you always need a solid entry as in an actual plugin on the menu, otherwise it might not show up. To go back down a level, you use two dots. I wouldn't make this too complicated, as it's easy for things to become quite confusing, but if you really wanted to, you could. After editing the menu file, save it, and your plugins should appear. You'll be able to now use the plugins that you added. Anything you select will automatically get added to the track. If you don't want it to get automatically added, you can hold down Command, and it will just pop up in the search result instead. Or toggle that off in the settings. The whole menu explanation is also in our manual, so check that out if you'd prefer to learn it at your own speed. Our manual can also be reached by accessing the LES menu. Now, some of the other new shortcuts we added to LES, this one I've been using a lot, is the clear track function. Press option X over a track to clear all its contents. This is very handy when I want to duplicate a track, but I don't need any of the clips duplicated with it. 
This can work on individual tracks and even multiple tracks if you have them selected, but there's no reason to ever do this on a group, so don't. You can also use Alt-C to recolor the clips in a track or a selection of tracks. Les now has a built-in timer for projects. You can detect how long you've had a project open. It records the time you spend in a project folder. So even if you save the project as a new version, like using our save as new version shortcut, it will still continue with the same timer. It actually has two modes, strict and non-strict. Strict time only tracks the project time when live is active, while non-strict will even count the time when you're tabbed into a different program. You never have to use it if you don't want to, but it's there, and it can be fun to check in once in a while. Pressing Command W closes a plugin window, and Command Option W closes all the plugin windows. Handy if you open an audio effect rack and a whole bunch of plugins just come up to greet you. Command Shift M will create a MIDI clip, like you'd expect anyways, but with LES on, the looping will be deactivated so you can make them as long as you want without the, the MIDI looping around. Clips created without the shortcut will still have looping enabled, so keep that in mind. Use Command Option S to save the project file as a new version. Using Command Option D or Command Option V, you'll be able to duplicate or paste a selection while keeping the empty parts intact. Normally, they would just merge together, which isn't what I always want. Command Option D might be your show hide dock shortcut too, but you can remap that in System Preferences or in the Settings file. Option E will tap between the MIDI envelope mode and back. Use Option L to make a locator. Double tap 0 to delete something. This one's cool if you have a remappable mouse. Using the tilde key or whatever key is on the left of the one key and right clicking will open the automation safely without breaking the automation link. Shift tilde and right clicking will open it as a new automation lane. We use that tilde key for a bunch of other shortcuts too. So if you don't have that key or you have a foreign keyboard, you'll probably want to remap it. You can go to configure settings and down to piano roll macro and just replace the key with whatever you want to. If you have a foreign keyboard, you can just use whatever symbol comes from that key and then save the file and reload LES. So that particular key, let's just call it the piano macro key from now on, can be used in the piano roll. Hold it down to instantly place notes. Piano roll detection isn't possible in the Mac version of LES, but you can still bring up the scales by manually holding down shift and double right clicking. You can then select a chord or scale. Hold down the piano macro key and left click to place what you selected. Holding the piano macro key and shift allows you to place things multiple times. If you drag the first initial note out, then all the other notes will also be that length. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all of them for Mac and Windows 2. This was an undertaking to say the least, but I strongly feel that LES is very much worth your time. And now there's no reason not to use it. It's available to everyone for free. Both the Mac version and the PC versions are in the description. You'll want to keep following us just in case we come up with any new features or updates that we make. But aside from that, I hope LES transforms your workflow and you make some amazing music with it. Feel free to share what you do with LES and your thoughts about it. We would love to see it. And again, big thanks to everyone who devoted their time into making LES possible. Oh, by the way, to everybody who's used LES so far, we hit a project file in the program. It's been there this whole time, and some of you found it already, so congrats. But if you haven't, let me clue you in. Enable debug mode and hold right shift and then left shift. A box will appear. There's a bunch of cheat codes you can write in here, but try ALS. We'll let you figure out the others. Have fun.